Good afternoon everyone, this is Bremster, and today I'm coming to you with a puzzle called Antimatter by Aaron Towler. Now, this is Aaron's um, apparently first and only puzzle, at least at the time of submission. Um, and when Erin submitted this, said that um, she'd never heard of negator cells. Um, so this puzzle um, is using a, a constraint called the anti-cell, um, where um, cells have to, um, con they contribute negative their, uh, their, the digits value rather than um, positive. So, um, we'll, um, which kind of is negator, but um, yeah, we'll, we'll go through that. Um, but uh my testers said that this one is incredibly tricky, but if you can find a path through it, and it's apparently a bit mathy, so I may struggle, I'm um, very, very good. This is possibly going to be another one of those videos where I make a mistake and the comments are just going to be completely and utterly full of people saying you made a logical mistake. I'm just going to try and muddle my way through the puzzle. I'm not here to try and go look at the look at a perfect solve. I'm just sharing my solves and sharing puzzles. Um, I understand people get angry. I'm not doing it for engagement. That if, if I make a mistake, feel free not to engage with it um, or check the comments first to see if other people have commented on it. I'm not here to try and drive up engagement by making mistakes, but this is the sort of puzzle where I think it's very, very likely that I will. Um, but I'm just here to solve a puzzle. All I'm doing is recording myself and sharing puzzles. That's what I started with this channel. Well, I started to share my own puzzles, but that's what I, this channel is for. I'm, I'm, that, that's it. So let's see how I go with Antimatter by Aaron Towler. So we've got normal Sudoku rules apply. So, um, or Tola, I'm not sure which, Tola maybe. Um, so uh, I think it's Tola. Um, in every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits one to nine must be placed without repetition. Digits in cages um, must not repeat and values in cages must sum to the given total. So, um, while uh, there are, must have three different digits in here, the values of the digits in these cages must sum to the four. In here, the values will sum to nine. In here, the values will sum to 13. Now, exactly one cell in every row, one cell in every column, and one cell in every three by three box is an anti-cell each containing a different digit. So there'll be one anti-cell one, one anti-cell two, one anti-cell three, all the way up to one anti-cell nine. The value of an anti-cell is the negative value of the digit it contains. So an anti-cell one is worth minus one, an anti-cell two is worth minus two, example, and going on. Additionally, no anti-cell is a chess knight's move away from another anti-cell. So if this was an anti-cell, then we couldn't put an anti-cell in anywhere that is this shape away from um, this cell. And the shape can be rotated in any direction. So this one couldn't be, this one couldn't be, because that's a rotation of the same shape. So two and uh, an, an L shape, basically. Um, you cannot have um, two anti-cells that shape away from each other. Um, da -da -da. And no cell a knight's move away from an anti-cell can contain the same digit as that anti-cell. So if this was an anti-cell 6, for example, I couldn't put 6 into any of these cells. I couldn't put them in these either, but those are already in the box. So I couldn't put a 6 into those anyway. But these, which are that shape away, couldn't also contain a 6. That's interesting. The location of the anti-cells are to be determined by the solver. Okay, I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So looking at this four cage, which I had looked at when I did an example, the minimum I could put into these is one, two, and three. One, two, three sums to six. So the minimum this could sum to if they were all natural cells would be six, but this is a four cage. So there must be an anti-cell in here. So I know none of these are anti-cells. A 13 cage. A 13 cage can't have an anti-cell in it, because if I did, there'd be a positive value and a negative value, and the maximum that could sum to would be 7, because it, if it was a 9 and then a minus 1, it would be a, um, 9 minus 1 is, counts as 9, well, hang on, no, that'd be 8. 9 minus 1. The maximum this could be is 8, 9 minus 1. Um, so the maximum a cage could sum to with out without being natural is eight. So this is completely natural. This is completely a two cell. This is completely natural. 
Because if this wasn't completely natural, 9 minus 1 is 8. There's no digit I could put in. This is completely natural. This is completely natural. Ooh, minus 6 cage. That has to have negative values in it. So there is in here, which means there's no anti-cells in any of those. This is a zero cage, which again, it's a three cell cage that is lower than six. So there must be an anti-cell in it, which is there. And those are not anti-cells. These are also not anti-cells. And that is not an anti-cell. This is not an anti-cell because that's a knight's move away. These are not anti-cells. These are not anti-cells. So there's an anti-cell in one of those two, and that is not an anti-cell. There can't be an anti... No, there can be an anti-cell here. No, there can't. If this is an anti-cell, neither of those could be an anti-cell, because I can't have an anti-cell in the same column or a knight's move away. If that's an anti-cell, I couldn't have it in the same column or a knight's move away. Neither of those are anti-cells. In this row, that is the anti-cell. There's no anti-cells here. There's an anti-cell. This sees that by knight's move. There's an anti-cell in this five cage. There's an anti-cell in this five cage. So if this is, if this was an anti-cell, this would be negative something plus four getting to five. There's no negative number I can add four to to get to five. So that can't be the anti-cell. That's the anti-cell. This is not the anti-cell. Negative four to five, that's a nine. Cool. One of these two, not sure which. Now I can't put a four in any of those cells. Actually, how do I do minus six? Hang on, I need to end up with minus six. If I use the biggest negative value I can, minus 9, I can only add 3 to it. And that gets me to minus 6. This has to be 1, 2, 9. Because if I make any other... There's two positive digits in it. The two largest, two smallest positive digits are 1 and 2. And then the biggest negative digit I can put in, 9, causes it to be minus 6. So this is 1, 2, 9. And I can't put a 9 there, and the 9 is the negative digit, it has to go there. That's the anti-cell. This is not the anti-cell, that is the 9, and there's no 9 in either of those. That's a 1, 2. Which pushes that up. 9 is up here. That's an anti-cell, so that is not an anti-cell by Knight's move. But... This has to be, can't be four or nine. This is different to all of those. So the minimum that could be is three, four, which would make this seven. It could be, th there must be a three in here, I think, because this is three, four or three, five. It can't be four, five, because if there's no three in here, it's four, five, and this would have to be a nine to make this balance, but I can't put a nine in. This is seven or eight, and this has to be seven or eight, and there must be a three in it. So this is three, four or three, five. There's a three in it. Uh, this could be a an anti-cell. I think. Maybe I'm looking down here. This looks messy. This is a natural 15. So it's 6, 7, 8, or 9. This is a natural 29 cage without a 9 in it. So if I don't put a 9 in it, 8, 7, 8, 7, hang on, what are the biggest digits? 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. No, 87653, because 4 is not available. 
87653. 87 is 15. 653 is 14. And that's 29. They're forced. This is a 1-2 pair. Because this is all natural. And this is... Well, I can just put the 1-2 pair in and then this is all forced. But this has to be a 1-2 pair. So that's a 1-2 pair. So this is at least a 3. Or it's a negator. So if that's a 3... No, this could be quite high if the negator cell is a high value. Not sure. Oh, there's no negator there. So this is the negator cell. So this is minus something. There's no negators in any of those. So how do we make this work? How do we make that work? That digit is either in the nine cage or the six cage. 15, 21, 30. These sum to 40. So these cages sum to 40, but this box, so the value of these cages is 40, but the digits just in this box sum to 45. So there's a big discrepancy here. Now the value of this cell The digit in this cell is removed twice from 45 because if this was, say, a 1, these would be 2 through 9, which would be 44, but then I'd have to subtract 1, which would make this 43. Right, right, right. So I can figure out, I can restrict this. Because this is one or two. Ah, math. This is the math I was warned about. If this is a one, these already sum... This can't be a one, because if this is a one, these sum to... This box sums to 43. And that doesn't work. If this is a 2, this box sums to 44, so for 41, and that doesn't work. Because these sum to 40, 40 total. If this is a 3, these are 39, and that could be a 1. This could be a 3. If this is a 4, these would sum to 37. This would be 37, and that would have to be a 3, and it can't be. This is a 3, this is a 1, this is a 2, this is a 1. That's insane. These sum to minus 2. So these need to sum to 12. Well, they can't be 9, 3. They could be 8, 4. They could be 7, 5. So these are 8, 4, or 7, 5. Either way, there's a virtual 7, 8 pair there. That has to be 9, 6. Yeah, 7 or 8 has to be in here, so I can't put 7, 8 here. There must be a 7 or an 8 in here. So this is 9, 6, because the other way of looking at it is where is 9 in this box? I now can't put 9 in here. This, the seven, the other seven or eight is in here. Because I can't put a seven or an eight in a six, natural six cage. So this is either one eight or two seven.
and this is either 1, 5 or 2, 4. So if this is 8, 4, this is 1, 5, and this is 2, 7. If this is 7, 5, this is 2, 4, and that's 1, 8. Oh, I can place three. No, this is two, but this is this three sees all of those because remember I can't put a three um, in the same row, and I can't put a three and knights move away from its anti three. So that's a three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight go into those. That digit can't go there. Oh, four can't go in here. This isn't two, four. This is one, five. So this isn't one, eight. This is two, seven. So this isn't seven, five. This is four, eight. So this is one, four, eight. So one, four, eight is 13 minus three is 10. This is bonkers. One is up here with nine. So there's no one in this four cage. There's a two up here. The 4, 8 makes this a 7, so these have to sum to 7, so they're 3, 4. Which means surely that has to be a negator, uh, an anti-cell. Because if it's natural, how do I make 5? I could do 1, 4, except I can't. I could do 2, 3, except I can't. So this has to be the anti-cell. So this is not an anti-cell. These are not anti-cells. This is not an anti-cell by anti-knight. Oh, this is not, these are not anti-cells. This is an anti-cell. So these are not anti-cells. And I've got an X-wing on anti-cells here. This puzzle is weird. This can't be a seven because it sees that by anti-knight. Four can't go there or there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, five. These are five, six, nine and must contain a five. Oh, this can't be a 5 because of the 1, 5 pair. 5 is in here. So am I looking at how this 5 works? Or is it the 4 cage? I think it's more likely the 4 cage. Though this could be negative lots. And this could get quite high. So maybe the five cage? Or is it this five cage? Like, do I need to put a negator cell into this five cage? This could be one, four, maybe. Could it be two, three? Don't see why not. Three is down here. Like there's no anti knight here because neither of those are anti cells. So you only have anti where there's anti. Oh Lord. Oh, no. Sorry, I was about to ask, where is three in this row? Because that three eliminates all of those, except I've already got the three in this row over here. These are five, six, seven, and eight. That's not helping me. Seven can't go in any of those. Or there. So seven is in one of those three, but it can't be in the anti-cell. So seven is in one of those two. Seven in this row is in one of those three.
So this is summing to five, but it's a negative value. So it can't be too high. Because if it was negative... Yeah, it can't be too high. Let's just put in every value it can be. One, two, can't be three, four, five, six, can't be seven or eight. So these are the only possibilities. If this was eight, this would have to be 13. Negative 8 to 5 is 13. If this was 6, to get up to 5, this would have to be an 11. If this is even 5, this would have to be a 10. This is a 1 or a 2. And if this is a 1, this is a 6. And if it's a 2, it's a 7 and it can't be a 7. This is a 6, which means this is negative 1. That's cool. Right. Which means one is in one of these three cells. One in this box. I can't put a one in this seven cage anymore. Because one can't be there and that one says there's no one there. So this can't be one six. It could be two five or three four though. This, it can't be one two. Can't be three four. It could be five, six or eight. Because it can't be... 1, 2, can't be 3, 4, could be 5 or 6, it can't be 7, it could be 8, it can't be 9. Now, if this is negative 5, these have to sum to 9. If this is negative 6, they have to sum to 10. And if this is 8, these have to sum to 12. How would I make them sum to 12? 7, 5. Okay. I don't think that's it. Not yet, anyway. Nine is not in any of these cells. Nine is in one of those two. Because this nine sees those, the six nine sees those, and that nine sees that by night's move. Why did I put... No. No. Yeah, sees that by night's move and that by night's move. So nine is in one of those two. If that's a nine, that's a four. If that's a nine, how do I make this? It would have to be eight, five. Don't see a problem with that. Four, right, four, eight is looking across. Four is in one of those, but this four says four is not there. This is either nine, four, eight, five, in either order, I think. It can't be seven, six. So these are the only possibilities for this cell. Is it this? One, four. This is one, four. Or two, three. This can't be one, four. If this was one, four natural, this would be eight, five. That would be nine. If this was one, four natural, that would have to be the nine because this would, because one, four here would make this eight, five. This would have to be the nine, but I can't put a nine here because this is a one, four natural. This can never be a one. Oh, it could be a negator one. No, it can't be. This can never be a one. One is in one of those two. But... Actually, no, that's not right. 
Actually, can that be a negator cell? It would have to be a two. It couldn't be three, four. And if it was five, this if it was negator five. If this is if this sorry, if this is an anti cell, it would have to be a two. And then this, this is a two, that's a two, that's a seven, this is a two, this would have to be a seven. I don't see why that's a problem. So if this is the anti-cell, it's a two, this is a seven, and then two and a seven are up here. Then this is an anti-cell. I can't see it. Six is in one of these two. Can't put six here. Can't put six here. Six is in one of those two. So where's the six anti cell? It's one of those two. This can't be the six anti cell because it sees that. Can't put six in either of those two because six in this row has to be here. So the six anti cell is there or there. If this is the six anti cell, these sum to 10. They couldn't be one nine, they could be two eight, they could be three seven. If this is the six anti cell, these would have to sum to 15. So they'd be seven eight. If that's the six anti cell, that's six. Six is in one of those two. Six wouldn't be in any of those. No, I can't see it. One, what is this? Nine four eight five seven six. Well, it can't be seven six because I can't put seven six. So this is nine four or eight five. I can't put seven or six in that cell. So I've got a four five virtual pair. If this is nine four, this is five two. If this is eight five, this is four three. So I can't put four or five in any of those. So that can't be four or five. So it can be one. Can't be one, it could be two, can't be three, four, five, could be six. Can't, so this is only two, six, or eight. And it can't be six. So this is only two or eight. If this is two, this is three, four. And that's five, eight. If this is eight, this is nine, four. This is 8, this is 9, 4, and that's 5, 2. I'm lost. I am completely lost. For this to be someone's only puzzle, there's no 1 here by... Anti night. One of those two. Sorry, I need to check. No, I don't can ignore that message. Okay. Um I am very lost. So they're two, five, six, and eight that have to go into these. So 
So 2, 5, 6, 8, if it's in there. Uh, any of those blocked. It couldn't be 6. It'd be 2, 5, or 8. That's if this is the anti-cell. It couldn't be an 8 or a 5 anti-cell. It'd have to be 2, and then this would have to be a 7. But I don't... I've already looked at that, and that seems to be fine. That becomes a 7. 7 would be in one of those... That all looks okay. So if this is an anti-cell, that's also an anti-cell. This is 2, 7. This would be... That would be an 8. And these would be 5 and 6. It's possible that breaks on a very long chain, because if this is an 8, these become forced to be pairs. This would be 5, 6. This would become semi-forced. This would become semi-forced. Like, if this is 5, these have to sum to 14, and if this is 6, these have to sum to 15. But I... That cell is in one of those. If it's two, it's in one of those two, and that becomes a two. If it's eight, I'm sorry, I don't know. Oh, this one, can't put one here. Can't put one here. Can't put one in any of those because this can't be one six. One is up here, meaning this isn't the one. This is the one. One is in one of these three. There's no one in this four cage. Does that do anything? These are these are two five seven eight nine. Nine and two are in here. If that's a two, two is in here, and that's a two. What's the obvious thing I'm missing here? I'm sorry, I am completely stumped. How did someone set this as their first puzzle? I don't have it. I really don't have it. If this is a negator cell, it's a two. If it's not a negator cell, it's one, two, three, or four. So this is one, two, three, or four. If this is a two negator, this is a seven. And if it's one, two, three, or four, this is one, two, three, or four. And it's not one. So this can't be four. This can't be one. I've already determined this can't be one. Why have I determined that? Because if this is one, four, this becomes five, eight. Why? And that becomes nine. And there's no negator cell. There's no one here. So this can't be a four. This is a two or a three. So this is either two, three or two, seven. And if it's two, three, I believe it's in either order. But there is a two in here. 
So there's a 2 up here. That's weird. But it hasn't done anything. I know three is in here. But this doesn't reach up. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. This is only five, six, or eight. This can't be one, two, three, four. It could be five, can't be six, seven, or eight. This is a lot less restricted. I think that could be five, six, seven, or eight. But if this is 9, 5, if this is 8, sorry, if this is 8, 5, this becomes 6 and that becomes 7. And this becomes 2, 3 and that becomes the negator, which would be what? Hang on, because the negator cell here has to be 2, 5, 6, or 8. Because 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2, 5, 6, or 8. So I'm just using this as a marker. The negator cell has to be 2, 5, 6, or 8. If this, if this is 8, 5, then I couldn't use 8, 5. This would become 6, so I couldn't use 6, and the 2 would be in here, and I, because this would become 7, this could would be 2, 3, and I couldn't use the 2, and I couldn't use a negator cell. This has to be 9, 4. I don't know if that's the way of doing it, but that seems to be true. This is 9, 4, which means this is 8, and this is 4. There's no 8 here. 4 is up here. Has that done anything? Put nine. That eight. Put eight in one of those three. Has that done anything? Nine is up here. Now nine can't go there because it'd have to be a negator. So, um, and I can't use a nine negator. So that's not a nine. Nine is in one of those two. Nine is in one of those two. So where's nine in this row? It has to be in one of these three. Sorry, this is breaking me. Could this still be two seven? That would be seven. This isn't a nine anymore. Six is in one of those two. I've missed something, haven't I? I don't wish I knew what. What? None of these are seeing each other, seeing these cells by night's move.
this is five, seven, or eight. I know six is in one of those two. Four is now in one of those two. That's not doing much. I'm really worried that it's long chains out of these, or I'm just completely stupid. Three is in one of those. Yeah, so three is down here. I don't have it. I don't have it. I'm very close to pausing this and looking in the solution guide to seeing what I'm missing. Because one was submitted, and I appreciate that. So it's two, five, six, and eight that need to go into... So if this was... If this was the anti-cell... It couldn't be two and it couldn't be eight. So it'd have to be five. This would be the negator five because it couldn't be six either. So this would be the negator five. This would be one. This would be five. This would be six. So this would be the negator five. This would be two, three. These would be a two, a six or an eight. Well, it couldn't be a two or a six, so this would be the eight. So this would be five, this would be eight. Which would put eight there. Five, six, eight, seven. This would be the negator five, this would be the negator eight, this would be the two, this would be the six. If this is the negator cell, that's the 2, that's the 8, and these are a 5, 6. We should mean 3. I'm looking at column 3. I wouldn't have used one, three, or nine. I don't see it. I'm going to pause the video and check the solution guide. I'm sorry, everyone. Okay, I've looked at the solution guide and it basically has you doing all of the casing on this. If this is an anti-cell, what is this? If this isn't an anti-cell, what is this? So I've already looked at this. So if this is an anti-cell, then we've already said that if this is an anti-cell, this is an anti-cell, this is the two, so this is the eight, this would be a five or a six. If And this is literally what it does. It goes through like eight different cases. So if this was a five or a six anti-cell, a negative five here would mean these sum to 14. Now they couldn't be nine, five. They could be eight, six, or well, they could be 8, 6, I think. So these would be 8, 6. If this is a 6, these sum to 15, which would be 7, 8. Either way, there's an 8, there'd be an 8 in here. And this would be a 2. If this isn't an anti-cell, then this cage could be 
126, 126. Because the one would have to go here, the two would have to go here. It could be one, th one here. So this would have to be a one with two, six, one, three, five, or two, three, four. So either way, this is a five or a six either way. That's really weird. So there has to be a five or a six in this cage. And either way, if this is a... If this is a five, I can put a six. If this is a five anti cell, I can put a six here. Otherwise, this has to be a five or a six. This is a five or a six either way. And I don't think that's very elegant. This is one, three, nine. There's no nine there. I don't know how I go from here, though. How do you, I'm sorry, I'm going to look at the guide while I'm solving. Uh, it does point out that, fine. Hang on, it says that this one eliminates one from there. Oh, no, it eliminates one from there. I already had that. So if there's a one in this box, it's there. But why is that a problem? A one there would put a one there. So if this is a one, this is a one which isn't the anti-cell, this would be the anti-cell and this would be the anti-cell which means that this can't be the one. So if this is a one, so the if this isn't an anti-cell, this has to be a one because I can't do two, three, four because I can't put four in the cage. So if, there, if this isn't an anti-cell, there has to be a one in this nine cage. It would go here forcing this to be a one which would mean this is an anti-cell, which means this is an anti-cell. And if this is an anti-cell and this is a one, does that work? Because if this is negative five plus one, I'm at negative four and I can't get this high enough. This cannot be, this cannot be a one. Which means there's no one in this cage, which means with no one in the cage, that is the anti-cell. And means this is the anti-cell, which means that's the two and that's the seven. I don't think that's phenomenally elegant. There is no two here now. This is not an anti-cell. This is not an anti-cell. And I have all of the anti-cells. Now, that's not the way this was described in the puzzle, uh, in the solution guide. It said, look at ones after I got this sure, but it then didn't describe it that way. This was the way I could find it using that one trick. Maybe it is, but that's not what I saw in the solution guide. But I didn't see that this was giving me that much. I, I will say, not a huge fan. Anyway, what can I do from that? This two makes this an Eight, which means this can't be five eight. This is four nine, which means this can't be three four. This is two five. This eight means it's not as powerful, is it? There's no eight here. This is a five six pair. Now, if this is five, this is minus five, and these need to sum to fourteen, which would be eight six. And if it's six, these need to sum to 15, which is eight, seven. There is always an eight in here. So I can't put an eight in any of those. That is an eight. Which means this is not an eight. This is five, six or seven. 
It's not seven. This is a five, six. This is the seven. This is a five, six pair. That digit and that digit are the same. This is a one, three pair. That, the two five looks across saying that's not a two. This is the two. Uh, this three looks up making that the one and that the three, which means there's no three in here. This is a one nine, but that can't be a one because of the one looking over. That's the nine, that's the one. There's no one here. Oof, that was tricky. And I still haven't cracked it, have I? Two in this box is here. So these, one, two, three, four, five, eight, and nine. There's no eight there. So these, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Four, six, and seven. There's no four there. So one, two, three, five, eight. There's no three there. So is it this now? If this is minus five, these sum to nine. They're not one eight, they're not two seven. They could be three six. They couldn't be four five because I started by making this five. So these would be three six. If this is six, these sum to 10. They couldn't be one nine two eight. They could be three seven or four six. No, they couldn't be four, six. Let me start this again. If this is five, these sum to nine. One, which would be three, six, because they can't be one, eight, they can't be two, seven, they could be three, six, they can't be four, five, because I started with five. If this is six, these sum to 10. Now, the first thing I eliminate is four, six, and I can't use one or two. There is always a three in here, and it's three, six, or three, seven. There's no three here. I have no idea how long this video is going to end up being. Really, really long. Seven is in one of those two. Oh, this is the five, this is the one, because of the one looking down, which makes this the six and this the five, which takes six out of here. This is seven, eight, this is 15. 15 minus six is nine. That six means that this is not a six, but it means this is a five, which means these need to sum to nine, so they're three, six. These, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, these are three, four, five. There's no three or five there. That's the four. Take the four out of those. The two five is looking across, making that the three and that the five. The eight is looking across, making that the seven and that the eight. I've definitely not shone on this puzzle, have I? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four and nine go in there, but the nine is looking up, making that the four and that the nine. There's no nine there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight go in. The eight makes that the seven and that the eight. The eight looks down, making that the five, which makes that the eight, which makes that the three. The four and the seven look down, making that the six, that the seven and that the four. The five and the eight look down, making that the six and take the six out of all of those. The seven, no, and the five makes that the eight, which makes that the seven and that the five. The six looks across, making that the nine and that the six. The seven makes that the two and that the seven. There's no nine here. There's no seven here. This is the seven. This is the one. One, two, three, four, five. This is the six. So one, two, this is the three, which looks down, making that the four and that the three. 
The four says that's not the four, that's the four. This row is missing a one and a two. The two is looking down, making that the one and that the two. The two looks up, making that the five and that the two. The four looks up, making that the nine and that the four. There's no nine there. The five says there's no five there. The nine says there's no nine there. The six looks across, making that the five and that the nine, which looks up, making that the five, which makes that the eight and that the nine. As soon as I figured it out, I I struggled with this cage, figuring out that they had to go in this order because the options here forced this to be a five, six pair. And if I put a one here, then that forced this to be a cell. I didn't see that. I did not see that at all. I thought that was way too... Tr I needed help. I needed help. I couldn't see it. 368 and that's why if you submit a solution guide I can go back and I can the 3 and the 8 make that 6 I can go back and I can say what is in the guide to help me and it told me that this was where I needed to be looking I think this puzzle if this had been me and that had been the step at that puzzle the puzzle at that point I would have tried to find a way of communicating where you needed to look better and try and make it not so Chaney. I don't know. Very weird little puzzle. The eight makes this the three and this the eight, and that is the correct solution to the puzzle. That here. I'm not sure what could have been done. I don't know if it was another given digit up in this box or something that could have could have done it. Something. That I'll be interested to see in the comments, apart from the, you made a logical error, Bremster, and I got stuck because it's amazing how many people, when I make a logical error, means that they can't proceed. Particularly when there's already been comments in the video which have stated, here's where Bremster went wrong, but here's how you can get past it. And then eight hours later, someone will post it. You made a mistake in the video, so I couldn't solve the puzzle. It's like, there's already comments stating how you could get past it. Very, very strange. Um, apart from those comments, I'll be interested to see how people found this. Because I think someone who can make a puzzle like this should absolutely keep practicing making puzzles. Aaron Tol uh, Toller, definitely keep making puzzles. If you're already making puzzles like this, you need to keep going. Um, like, Practice makes perfect. This is not a bad puzzle. I think this was... Needed a little bit of tweaking. And this is why having a field of good testers, which you build up over time, um, I, I think a field of testers would have gone, hmm, maybe something here. Um, when I saw that the step in the, the solution guide had this meant that it was either this or this or this or this or this, and therefore there was a bunch of restrictions with all of those different options and everything. It was like, ooh, that starts feeling a little bit uncomfortable. Like having to keep all of those options and how to pencil mark them and everything, particularly when it was a case of if this was a one, then this was a one, which means it couldn't be the cell. This would have to be the cell and then this would have to be the cell, which broke with that being a one. That was clean, but only it was only after I'd had to put in all the options that I could figure out that that chain there also broke. So I had to put in a lot of options to then figure out that that was going to break. Feels a bit weird. Pos this is positive. Like, I want Erin to keep setting. She's doing very, very well. I, I would have struggled making something like this. Um, I'm not very good at math. Thank you, Erin, for the puzzle. I really do appreciate it. Um, I wouldn't give this much feedback if I didn't care. Um, I hope other people uh, find a better way through. I really do. And um, yeah, thanks everyone for watching. And I hope you enjoy this one. Thanks everyone. And as always, good luck with your solving.